My name's Paul Saltzman, and we're down here at Laleo in the Gallery District, and we're doing a show called The Beatles in India with the photography. These are pictures I took in India in 1968 with the Beatles. They were there to learn meditation at the Maharishi's ashram. We're here launching the book tonight. That's what this whole party is. And Patricia and I produced the book together, fully together, so we work together. Tell us the contents of the book, what, what, and how did it come about? The book is, um, is really a, a collector's item. It's a limited edition book, and there's two versions of it, which I'll show you. Um, and it was really a way to present the pictures in the best light, both in the printing form. You know, a lot of people buy photography like this, but some people don't. And so we really brought the book out, um, partly in, in honor of the anniversary of doing Norwegian Wood. George, 40 years ago, next Saturday, brought the Indian sitar into uh, Beatles music in the song Norwegian Wood, and it really changed the face of rock and roll. I went to India to work on a National Film Board of Canada film, and uh, I've been in film, oh, till the early 90s, and I made about uh, 300 films, and since the early 90s I've been writing, and then I found these pictures that I had taken and I actually put them away and forgot about them for 30 years, as odd as that sounds, and my daughter reminded me of them about five years ago, and for the last five years we've done gallery shows all over the world and done a previous book and now this new limited edition book. And, and you yourself, are you from Toronto? I am. I'm from Toronto. We live in Oakville now, uh, but I grew up in Toronto. Patricia's from El Salvador <laughs> and has lived in Toronto most of her life, so Toronto folks. So this is called Perfect Harmony, this picture. And what's right under his toe here, right from about there to there, is a slip of paper. And I went in, I took this shot, and I went and I sat over by Ringo, and I look over, and on the piece of paper, and it's just a scrap of paper about this big, in Paul's handwriting, it says, Obladi, Oblada, Bra, La La, How the Life Goes On. And they started singing it over and over and over again. And after about five minutes of working with it, um, faster, slower, stretching it, and very joyfully. Uh, Paul looked up at me and uh, smiled and said, that's all there is so far, we don't have any of the words yet. So they were just writing Obla D during this picture. This picture here, this is just called John, and it, if, you know, if I had to pick a favorite, uh, this is my favorite. And he was just uh, rubbing his ear and it was just a caught moment. None of the pictures are posed at all and I never did say, hey John, hey Paul, look here. That wasn't the way we were, we were just actually hanging out together. But one really sweet thing happened with this picture this summer, which is I met Cynthia Lennon at a Beatles event in Berlin and I hadn't seen Cynthia since 1968. Very loving, warm hugs and everything and she looked at this picture and she said, I think that's the best picture I've ever seen of John Lennon. And then there was a pause and she said, well, maybe except for his baby pictures. So it was a very sweet moment. This is called the Beatles and Rishikesh, this shot. And this, this is a posed shot that was really the Maharishi shot, uh, I think probably for publicity purposes. I call it affectionately in my book, uh, the class photo. And so uh, Ringo had a camera and George had a camera and Mal Evans, their roadie, had a camera and they each gave me their camera and said, hey Paul, will you take a picture? So I had four cameras around my neck, my own and the three of theirs. And this was probably a half an hour of just taking different shots. The beauty of India in a way, the beauty of the clothes and the environment. And of course you can see the Ganges River behind them. That's that blue strip going right behind them. That's the Ganges and it's winter time so the Ganges hasn't yet had the silt come down out of the mountains and it's a beautiful emerald green color. So this one is called Love Song and that's because Paul was playing a little bit of Michelle uh, just fooling around, a verse of Michelle, a verse of Eleanor Rigby. Uh, he was 25 years old at the ashram, and he said he enjoyed meditation. He was not as seriously into it as uh, John or George, and, and a little more seriously into it than Ringo was, but he said he enjoyed meditation and it, that it was helpful for him. This was Ringo's favorite uh, Nehru jacket that he bought in London, and about uh, three, four months ago, through his record producer, he let me know that he would like one of these pictures. So Patricia, who you just met, my wife and I flew down to New York and spent about an hour with Ringo and presented him with this exact 
size of picture of his favorite jacket. And uh, this one of George, this one's called The Inner Light. And the reason it's called The Inner Light is he had recorded the song The Inner Light just two weeks before this shot was taken at the EMI Studios in Bombay and uh, sang it for us at the ashram uh, before it was released. And that, it's a beautiful song, The Inner Light, very beautiful song. And of course, George was the reason that they actually were at the ashram. Uh, George's wife, Patty, got into meditation first. This would have been 66, 67, and then George did, and then they got the other Beatles to go down to hear a lecture of the Maharishi at the Hilton Hotel in London in uh, August of 67. And this trip to the ashram in February of 68, uh, February, March into April of 68, was really a result of George's passion for Indian philosophy, Indian meditation. So the book is The Beatles in India, and it's a limited edition book. This is actually a, what's called a clam shell. And you, what you get in it is you get uh, the book itself, which is a leather-bound book. Uh, and it's printed on a very fine Japanese paper. These are some of the images from the book. Again, in India, this is George on the sitar and Paul Horn, the flute player who did an incredible album called uh, Inside, uh, what's it called, if the, the flute song, Inside the Taj Mahal. Yeah, he did a phenomenal CD, there's two of them, of flute music in the Taj Mahal. And with the book, you get several things. With the book, you get this photo image, which is a collector's print, one of 350. There's only ever gonna be 350 of these made limited edition. And you also get the, the CD, and the CD is 11 Beatles songs on sitar and tabla. And these songs, most of them were written in India of the songs. And then you also get the DVD, which is a DVD really about my talking about these things on camera and, uh, and animating some of the images. So that's the book. That's that limited edition. We do it in two forms. Uh, this one, which is the leather and the Japanese silk, and then this one right here. Can you see that? Yep. And that's done uh, on Japanese fine fabric called Saifu. And it's the same book, it's just different colors and, and uh, different fabrics.